live. Excellent. Hello, everybody, and welcome to more nine hours, nine persons, nine doors. I'm Gina, aka the Gina Chu, and it is time for a party. Except that I'm really upset because the name of my stream did not update again. <sighs> Hold on. Uh, it's just another day in paradise, darlings. Oh, oh, oh. Oh. Well, that was great. <laughs> that feeling when the game crashes on you. <laughs> Okay, we're good. Sorry about that, darlings. Anyway, as we were. Alright, let's, um... Alright, so what do we have so far? We have this chunk of pork. What's that? It looks like there's a piece of... Oh! 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 I thought that that was like a bone! Well, I'm glad I clicked search. Maybe you can melt it if you put it on something warm. Ah, uh, yes. Okay, so we can put it, we can cook it. I'm feeling hungry, let's go. No, no, here, this thing. Guess I'll put this meat on the grill. Let's grill us up some dinner. Oh, it's delicious. Also, isn't the fucking paper gonna catch on fire? <laughs> hey, what are you doing? What are you gonna do with the paper for? Yeah. I just ask that question, Lotus. Come on, it'll be fine. It's like you can burn right that way, right? Keep an eye on it, and it'll be fine. Oh, they can argue all they want. I'm gonna keep an eye on this course. Cool, let's see if it's about time. I'm gonna try to take the paper out. Jumpy, be careful. Sweet of her to care, but I know what I'm. Ouch! See? Told you. Maybe we can cut it open. What the hell are you doing? Hurry up and take the paper out. It's not coming out. See, it's frozen stiff. I can't get it out. The knife. The knife. So are we going to have to cut the meat? Yay. Give me that knife. Okay, now that I've sharpened the knife, it's not cut the pork. Awesome, Junpei. Now we can cut out the paper. C plus 10 plus F. Oh, yeah, that number puzzle. Um... Uh, did I write down? I wrote down notes about it somewhere. Hold on. Like physically, I wrote down notes about it. Yeah. I says C plus ten plus F. Alrighty. Uh, no. I don't want to do that. I want to go. Where, where were we? Yeah, in the beginning here. That's yeah. Nine plus FB in base ten. So anything after nine is right. It's nine and then A B C D E F ten eleven. That would be 24. Right! Okay, so F is 15. Right, 10, 11, 12. Alright, cool. So, C plus 10 plus F. Where's my pen? Where's my pen? Hello, Shay! Yes, I know, it's, I know, nine persons, I blame Japan, <laughs> it is a Japanese game, so the name is kind of weird, but it is called Nine Hours, Nine Persons, Nine Doors, I know. Um, alright, so C plus 10 plus F, so F is 15, so F plus 10 is 25, and then C would be 12, so 25 plus 12 is 37. Or maybe it's just saying those are three numbers, like 12, 10, and 15. Hmm. Uh, we have a couple of places. 
places we can put numbers in, like here. Um. This is probably you're supposed to enter the password. Maybe if you put in the right number, it'll open the door. Yeah, I know. Um. I think E is for enter and C is for enter. Correct. Yes. I don't know how many digits it's looking for. It's three digits. Well, 37 is what those are. Oh, did I get it right? Huh? This is weird. No, I'm not punching in random numbers, you know? Time, like twelve. No, um, no. This is, this is nine hours, nine persons, nine doors. It's basically a visual novel slash puzzle escape the room kind of thing. Um, there are nine plates. Nine is even in hexadecimal and decimal. There are ten two plates. Ten is A in hexadecimal. Correct. There are fifteen. All right. This is F. Number 10, that would be an A. <clears throat> so if you're thinking C plus A plus F. Um, this is a card reader, and the card is probably stuck in here. Oh, right, you were a stuff. I'm sorry. I, I just saw somebody like, I have no idea what's going on, and I was like, oh. I do, you must not know this game because I'm the people play it. All right, so let's see what other ways. I mean, if I have to, I'll look up the answer, but I would like to problem solve with this if we can. So we have C plus 10 plus F. So C is 12, 10, and then F is 15. Um. Oh, we already dealt with fire. We already, we cooked the pork. We, the, the fire has been used already. The fire portion of this answer has already been acquired. <laughs> I'm not going crazy. 
I thought we were looking for something that changed. That was just fucking door. All right, well, let's swipe and get out of here. Hey! Let's go! And thanks to Shay with the clutch, be not letting Gina be stupid, we escaped. Yes! I think we've been here before. The elevators are over there, so that means... We went into the kitchen through that door and came out on this side. Right, that was what we expected. That means the map was right. Looks like. Then let's use it to plan our next move. Next move? Yeah, it was Shay. Give her credit, Yeah, game. we need to decide where to go from here, don't we? He's right. Let's get started. Oh from my the looks God. of it, there are four possible routes. Yeah, but we're, we're all the voices in Junpei's head for sure. Let's just keep it simple and call them A, B, C, and D. Okay. First, A and B. They both seem to connect to a room that looks L-shaped. Right. Yeah, there were two doors. <laughs> but they were both locked. We couldn't open them. Right. So now, that's... route C. This goes all the way to the main staircase. Okay. That means it's door five. One of the numbered doors. Then do you think we would meet up with the other four after this hallway? No, I don't think we will. Why not? Look, there by the stairs. See how the gate is opened? When we went into the kitchen, it was closed. But it's open now. What do you think that means? They opened it. Most likely. But if we take Route C, we're going backwards. That would be pointless. Then that right. means... Alright, so we know where we want to go. Route D, then. D it is. Yep, Route D. Then we're set. Let's go. It looks like we're going down. Everything looks okay here. Let's check the next deck just to be sure. Yeah, just that... like I thought. D deck is totally underwater. That water, though. Just like the bottom of the central staircase. At least the water level hasn't really changed. Small comfort. May as well head back to C deck. Yeah. Hmm. What else is here? There are okay. two elevators over there at the top of the stairs. A... Just like the floor above. Hold on. These are kind of different. See? There's a card reader on the side. Right. Another strange mark. Hey, look! It's Lotus's symbol. Huh? See? It's the woman symbol with horns on it. Oh wow. That seems like. Yeah, no, you deserve oh, that. Ouch, 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 You ouch. deserve that, Junpei. What was that about the mark again? It's nice to know that all the Junpeis we've seen on this stream are just as good with, with women as each other. Bag of rocks. Uh, uh nothing. <laughs> this is a Mercury symbol. Right. The horns symbolize the wings on Hermes's staff. Correct. Hermes, herpes, whatever. Whoa! There's no need to go into sexually transmitted diseases. Santa, stop if it. If we can't get this thing to work, these elevators aren't going anywhere. In other words, we need a key card with the Mercury symbol on right. it. Right. Probably. Well, I guess we can't get on then. Let's just disregard the elevators for now. How about this hallway on the left? Oh, Whoa, pretty. there's so many doors. Beautiful. Damn it. If we try and search all these, the sun's gonna go down before we've done half of them. I think the sun already set. I have a feeling this ship is the only thing that's going to be going down anytime soon. Yeah, really. That's even worse. Whatever, you know what I mean, diseases. Well, we can come back to this hallway later. Let's check the hallway on the other side, shall we? <sighs> Time to head back to the stairs. <laughs> Santa, you're ruining Christmas. And now the right hallway. <sighs> there oh, are doors okay. here too. <sighs> Well, I guess it's just four this time. Yeah, at least that's let's manageable. All right, let's start with this one. Uh, Bats is if it's gonna open or not, I say no. Huh, oh, it isn't locked. Oh! I'm going to open it. Eating my words. Oh, well, you know what this means? We're gonna walk inside, it's probably gonna lock behind us. What? Whoa! Oh, yeah, I remember this room. Mm-hmm. Oh, I do remember this room. Yes. What the hell is this? This place is huge. Oh, there are beds 
everywhere. Is... is this a hospital? It definitely has the smell. Could be. I see medicine cabinets and surgical tools. You need a... a hospital this big on a cruise ship, though? Hey, look there. The four doors at the end. Three, seven, eight... The left door says three. The second door is blank, but the third has a seven. Okay, and the rightmost eight. door is eight. There's no doubt. They're numbered doors. Why is the second door blank? That seems kind of strange, don't you think? No point worrying about it right now. Let's see if these will open first. Yes, that sounds like a good plan. Yeah, you're not getting into any of these. Oh, it's no use. Well, of course. If it was that easy to open these doors, what would be the point of the notary game? We have to activate the red, or the numbered doors won't... Wait a minute. What's wrong? Look, the display on the red. There's nothing on it. Huh? Don't you remember? The red at the central staircase? If no one was inside, it said vacant. Oh yeah, you're right. But this one... There's nothing on it. Right? I wonder if it's broken. Only one way to find out. Try pulling the lever. Oh. Or put your hand up to it. Yeah, it's not registering anything. It's not responding. How about the red on door 7? And door 3? So, cold sore herpes, quote unquote, is a specific strain of herpes that is very con- Don't think of it like herpes in the way that you think of herpes like herpes. You guys know what I mean. None of them are working. What does it mean? <laughs> I knew it. They're broken. No. Zero sure sucks at maintenance. No. No, that's impossible. You really think Zero, who prepared all of this, would make such a stupid, simple mistake? Maybe, but that doesn't explain why this thing ain't working. I believe the bottom of the device has been removed. Hey! Snake! It's the Sneaky Snakes Club! In before, in before Sheltie shoots off the suspicious command. Ace! Clover! Seven! How? How did you guys... How did you end up here? That's my line? Perhaps we should exchange information. Aw, oh, that's a good idea. There you have it. Our half of the story. Okay, let me see if I got all this straight. When you guys got here, the bases for the Reds were already gone. And you looked all over this room, but you couldn't find anything. So you figured... that there might be something in the hallway with all the doors. Oh. So you went and had a look? Yeah. And while you were looking around, you heard voices. Uh-huh. So you followed the voices and came back here. Indeed. And that was how we found you. Why don't we check those three reds again, just in case. You're right. <laughs> Shelties. How can he see that they've been removed? Well, I would assume that he either felt it or somebody told him they were removed. Huh. There's a long, thin gap on the bottom. I think it's a slot for something. Uh, probably electronic. Hmm. Well, this isn't good. If the red is inactive, we can't keep going. Well, uh, what about that hallway over there? Isn't there anywhere else we can go? No, there isn't. There are plenty more hospital rooms, but... Nothing else. Really? That's weird. Hospital rooms. That's what's behind all those doors? Yes. There are a number of individual rooms in addition to this large one. There was a door at the end of the hallway, but it was locked. There was an astrological symbol engraved near the keyhole, uh -huh. however. Ah, so it's unlocked. I was able to get a good uh, feel of it. I believe it was the symbol of Jupiter. Mm. Not again. Those goddamn things are everywhere. I wonder what they all mean. While we're asking what things mean, uh, what's the deal with this room? I mean, I thought this was a cruise ship, but I can't imagine a cruise ship would have a hospital like really? this. Really? Can we ask the, uh, the... what kind of fucking cruise was this? Well, I figure it's probably a hospital ship. A hospital Chances ship? Chances are it's the Gigantic. What? The Gigantic? What is this Gigantic? The Gigantic. 
She was a sister ship to the Titanic, built in the early 20th century. Oh. Actually, the Titanic had two sister ships, and they looked exactly the same. Well, that explains why we thought it looked like the, the Titanic. The Gigantic was said to be one of them. They intended to make her a passenger liner like the Titanic, but World War I began soon after the ship launched. The British Navy took her over and made her a hospital ship. At some point during the war, the Gigantic was damaged by a German mine in the Aegean Sea. She ran aground afterwards, so she didn't end up sunk. What happened to her after that? One theory going around is that a man named Lord Gordain bought her. Seemed like he'd been one of the few to survive the Titanic sinking. That trauma turned him into some kind of obsessive collector of all things related to the Titanic. Well, that brings some interesting theories as to who Zero could be. Soon enough, the guy wanted the Titanic itself. Which was impossible, of course. It's stuck at the bottom of the Atlantic Ocean. But the Gigantic wasn't. And seeing as she was identical... So you're saying this Lord Gordain bought this ship? Yeah, at least I think I am. That's impossible. No way we're in some boat that's almost a hundred years old. Pipe down, just pay attention. What, that's it? Well, have you got any proof? Proof? Proof that this ship is really the Gigantic. Well, uh... This ship's got stuff that's like the Titanic and a hospital ship. So, I just figured... Oh, for goodness. Don't tell me that's your only reason. It, no, I, I've got more. Like? Well, uh... I mean... I don't know. I guess your memory isn't back yet, is it? Yeah. Sorry about that. Hey, 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 hey! Whoa, wait a minute! Memory isn't back? Yeah... Your point being? Wait, was I the only one that didn't know? Why? Oh, yeah, I guess I didn't tell you, huh? I told the rest of them before we ran into you on the stairs. I told them I couldn't remember a damn thing from before I woke up. Really? What? It sounds like the clock in the main stairway. Ten... Eleven... Twelve... Uh, twelve. It's midnight. Then we've still got six hours left, right? We don't have any time to screw around. Let's get going. We gotta find the missing parts for the Reds. What do you mean, find? How on earth do you propose we do that? We've looked everywhere in this room. That only leaves one place to look. One? Uh, well, not just one. Yeah... Hmm? Uh, wait. Don't tell me you mean we need to search all of the other rooms. Don't freak out. We've already searched four of them. No, it's a, it's a clock. It, it rings uh, the number of times to tell what the hour is, so it rang 12 so they know it's midnight. Four rooms? We just have to split up the rest between the eight of us. If each of us can do six rooms apiece, we'll have the other 48 rooms cleared in no time. The voice acting is all of a sudden starting to not match with the, uh, subtitles? There are 48 other rooms. Uh, just maybe? Hmm. Alright, so everyone knows which area they're searching? Yeah. Yes! We'll all meet up when the clock goes off again. Ah, uh, how about in that room with all the beds? Yeah. Sounds straightforward enough. I'll shout if I find any of the components we need. I hope we can find them within the time limit. This douchebag can't find shit! If we can't, then we'll just have to come up with another plan. Okay. Right. Then let's do this. I mean, Snake is awesome, but, like, I'm... I'm about him. Oh. It's one. I better get back to the others. <laughs> huh? Uh-oh. What are they doing over there? What happened, guys? Jumpy, look! Vacant? Come on, guys. Who was it? I thought we were supposed to yell if we found it. 
Well... What the hell? What is up with you guys? Well, that's the thing. We don't know. You don't know? When I got back, it was already like this. There was no one else here. That means I was the first one back, but the missing parts were already back in the red. Ooh. What? Let me see. You're right. It's in there. What about the other two? They're the same. Let me take a look. It's just as you said. Alright, I, I just want to be sure here. Do you guys know what this could possibly mean? Nobody has any idea what the hell happened here, right? Correct. None. <sighs> huh. Wait a minute. Where's Snake? Does that mean that he found them? I've no idea. There's nothing to suggest it. But nothing to suggest he didn't either. Oh, Shay, I think you're onto something. I don't suppose we'll know until we can ask him in person. Well, whatever he did or didn't do, he's pretty damn late. What the hell is he up to? Maybe he's lost. What's up, Shelty? Yeah, well, that seems likely. Dude can't see. I don't know how he gets around in the first place. No! That's impossible! Yeah, my brother's blind, but he's got really great hearing! He can get around as well as anyone who can see! So he... All you ever he thought of who Zero lost. is? If That's you want to share it... That's impossible! Please, please feel free to do so. <laughs> I'm gonna go look for him! Whoa, Clover, hey, no! Uh, hold Jesus on, Clover! Jesus Christ! Wait. You know, we can't- Well, we that can't... didn't work. Damn it. What should we do now? Yes, Shay. Snake and Clover are brother and sister. Well, the red is working now. Epitaph, you looked it up. You're no fun. Don't, don't you dare. Don't you dare say the answer, Epitaph. I don't want you to confirm or deny any guesses from anyone. Because I have not beaten this game, so I don't know who Zero is. You better... You better not spoil it. No, we're not leaving two people behind. We should go look for them. Also, numerically, there's really not a good chance that the two groups of the three of you will have the numbers to get through the door, so you probably need the math. Math. Oh, man. This ain't good. Oh, yes. What an excellent idea. We just wasted a bunch of time looking for some piece of electronic junk. Now let's waste some more by looking for a couple of idiots. Then remain here if you feel you must, but there's no time. We've only five hours left. Let's split up. All right, I'll take this direction. Then I shall look that way. I'll be over here. Let's see you all later. All right, we should go too. Yes, let's go. But where should we start? Let's see. Where should we start, guys? Pick one. It's your choice. Choose what happens. Do it. Do the thing. Oh, also, do you guys see the subscription button? I'm just really curious because I can't see it, obviously, because this is my 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 channel. But I'm curious if you guys see the subscribe the subscribe button. I'm curious because I, th I apparently they went live today. Zero is Thomas the Dank Engine. You can, you can see it. Ah, it's so exciting. Okay, anyway, pick one. Pick one randomly. What do you guys feel like? Should we go to the casino? I mean, the casino sounds like the most fun area. In fact, I remember a casino in this game very vaguely. But I don't know. Pick on tools, cans. Pick on tools. I think I feel like I remember do being in the casino room and like giving up because I was like really frustrated with it. I feel like I vaguely remember that.
So I don't know if I should try the first class cabin as something different or if these are even like rooms that we could get locked in. To the casino room. All right, Shelties, come back soon. All right, How about the casino, the casino on B deck? Okay, let's go, Jumpy. I have a feeling hey, I'm gonna regret it. What do you it. think you're doing? Isn't it obvious? I'm looking for Snake. I'm just not seeing it. Really? Maybe you need to look harder. I don't think that's the problem. Oh, by the way, I've got a proposal for you two. Care to hear it? Ah. Okay. What is it? Well, I don't like to beat around the bush, so I'll get right to it. Why don't we team up? Team up? Yeah. Oh, here what? we go. Do you need me to explain it to you? I'm saying, why don't we go through a numbered door? Even if we wanted to, that's impossible. Why? Jumpy's bracelet number is five, mine is six, and yours is eight. Our digital route would be one. But there's no number one door in the large hospital room. Correct. The only doors there are three, seven, and eight. Then we add another person. Huh? Who? What, isn't that easy? Seven. Oh, if we add seven, Five plus six plus eight plus seven is equals eight. twenty-six. The digital root of twenty-six, two plus six equals eight. Wait a minute. What about the other four? Ace, Snake, Santa, and Clover. Well, why don't you add them up? One plus two plus three plus four equals ten. And one plus zero equals one. We would be they would be unable to move forward at all. We would be sentencing them to death. The digital root for those four would be one. We would be sentencing them to death, Lotus! That's right. And you know the number one door isn't in the big hospital room, right? Of course I know that. No! Are are you saying you'd leave them behind? Of course not. What kind of woman do you think I am? Once we get off the ship, we could come back and rescue them, couldn't we? Then we wouldn't really be leaving them behind. For you, you don't even know where the show. Okay, so let's think out this dumb ass, this dumb ass idea. First of all, you have no idea where the fucking ship is. You could get off the ship and there could be like a rowboat and you could be in the middle of some fucking sea. There's no guarantee that you're going to find civilization, get a hold of police, and mobilize them to the ship before nine hours is up and it sinks and everyone dies. You have a very slim chance of saving these guys by getting off the boat quicker. This is the dumbest idea, Lotus. Lotus, I loved you the first time I played this game, but I have not gotten up to this point. I've never seen this conversation with you. Also, your hand looks really weird and I'm very disappointed in you. Don't try to lie to us. I don't think you do anything of the sort. Really? Why do you think that? You remember, don't you? We have less than five hours left. Even if we manage to escape, there's no way we could come back to rescue them in less Correct. than five hours. Well, you never know until you try. No, no, you're not thinking this through. Even if we brought Seven with us, we wouldn't be able to get off the ship. The four of us couldn't open door nine. Oh, that's another good point. I didn't even think of that. It is hidden, but an exit can be found. Seek a way out. Seek a door that carries a nine. Yeah. Yeah, that's right. The digital route for the four of us would be eight, so we'd have to add Ace to make nine. That's right. Unless we bring Ace too, we'll be stuck. Oh. Hmm. Well, that's unfortunate. And that also doesn't count in the idea that if the five of you make nine, what if you get to another numbered door before nine that forces you guys to leave one of you behind? Then you'll all be stuck and dead. Lotus, think this through. Please. Unfortunate. Girl. That's all you have to say? Well, let's try and find another way, okay? Also, at this point, I think this also makes it obvious that not everybody's getting off this fucking ship. I mean... A way to get out of here with all eight of us. Yeah. That's impossible. Yeah. Are you being serious? I feel, I, I'm kind of with Lotus on this particular point. And you do know that only five people, at most, can go through one of the numbered doors, That right? also. The number nine isn't going to be an exception to that rule. Regardless, at least three people will get left behind. Huh? Yeah, I... I guess that makes sense. Oh, wait just a second. You're skipping over a really big detail. Oh. Is that really okay? 
That means three people will die in the end. Are you okay with that? That's... that's just... Do you think I could have a moment alone? There are some things I need to think about. Yeah, like math. That didn't turn out to be a very pleasant conversation. Yeah. Well, regardless, let's just focus on finding Snake for now, okay? Yes, you're right. We can think about those other things later. It's okay, Shay. Yeah. Alright, where should we go next? Okay, so apparently that wasn't a thing, so uh, let's just go down the list. Let's go take a look the at cabin. the first class cabin. It's really close. Let's go to the first class cabin. What should Junpei do? Uh, I think we should go Are you alright? <laughs> look, I know you're really worried, but... Um... Alone. Alone. Hmm? Alone. Hmm? I said leave me alone! You're so annoying! Just go away and leave me alone! Just looking at you guys is pissing me off! Jesus Christ! Go away, okay? Just go somewhere else! Stop bothering me! Uh, um... Why are you still here? Didn't you hear me? Uh... Huh? Fine, forget it! If you aren't gonna leave, then I'll just... All right, let's go, June. Uh, yeah. Jesus Christ. <sighs> we really need to find Snake, for Clover's sake. So, uh, where do you think we should go next? We already were at the casino, so let's go to the hallway with all uh, the Why don't we go back to Sea Deck? We can take a look at that hallway with all the rooms. Okay, let's get going then. Oh, it's Ace. Hey, Snake! Where are you? Answer me if you're there! Uh, let's, go. let's go. Ah, hello there. Snake is... Well, that's obvious, isn't it? I assume you haven't found him yet? Yeah, doesn't seem like you're having any luck either. I really wonder where he could have gone. Well, wherever he's disappeared to, we must find him as quickly as we can. For Clover's sake. It's all good, Shay. Right. By the way, um, do you think Clover and Snake are really siblings? Uh, why would you say that? Why? <laughs> well, it's obvious, isn't it? They don't look alike at all. Shay can be as excited as she yes, wants to be. Yes, you know, now that you mention it, they don't. Still, there are a great many siblings who do not look like one another. It certainly isn't rare. At any rate, we really must find Snake as soon as possible. The clock is ticking. We really can't afford to waste any time. <sighs> Very well. Let's get back to the search, shall we? You can leave this area to me. All right. Let's go, Jumpy. Something about that was... I'll think on it later. Like Ace said, finding Snake is our top priority. All right. Where should we go next? I guess back to the large hospital room. Why don't we go place? back to the big hospital room? Okay, let's go then. Hey, wait. That's... Santa? Okay. Santa? I just talked to him. What are you doing? What? You can't tell? I'm checking out the red. Why? Is there something bothering you? What? It's not bothering you? Huh? This... The guts of this red. Why wouldn't you wonder who the hell put it back in here? Yeah, that's true. Well, I'm curious too, but... Who do you think did it? I don't know. Well, what about you, Junpei? Who do you think fixed this thing for us? Uh, Zero? I think it was probably Zero. Why? Isn't that obvious? He's the guy who set this whole thing up. You don't think that should mean the opposite? Seems to me like that means he didn't do it. I mean... Who do you think took that stuff out in the first place? Probably Zero. Yeah, exactly. And why the hell would he put him back in after he'd taken them out himself? Maybe he wanted to put you on a timer, because you met back at 1 a.m. and they were back in. It just doesn't make sense. Why do all that work? <sighs> yeah, I guess that makes sense. So, what happened then? Who put that stuff back in the reds? So, in other words, one of us is the person who fixed the red. Bingo! We have a winner! But if that's true, 
then the person who did it doesn't want the rest of us to know that they fixed it. Yeah. Why? But why? No idea. Maybe if they come clean on that, it means we'd find out something else. Something bad. Something bad? Dunno. But whatever it is, it's gotta be worth hiding. I'm thinking at this point, maybe Seven? Maybe Seven doesn't have as much amnesia as he says he does? Of course. It could have something to do with Snake's disappearance. Well, that's you think it. maybe they did something to Snake? Yeah. <sighs> Look, if you trust anybody in this game, you're gonna lose. You've gotta be careful. The person you trust the most could turn out to be the one who stabs you in the back. And that's that, I guess. <laughs> I guess we're done. I mean, everything else panned out. The snake hasn't been anywhere we've searched. And we can't keep looking for him. Wherever he is, it's not here. We need to get moving. We don't got a choice. Lotus is right. We're not going to find Snake. There's a problem, though. We've got to figure out who's going to go through which door. Yes, I have a proposal. Why don't we decide on one person to sacrifice? Ho oh, Lotus! Sacrifice? Well, perhaps that's a bit of a harsh word, but yes. You've all figured it out by now, haven't you? We can't all make it through those doors. If we split into two teams of four and three people respectively, then three people will be left behind. If we split into two teams of five and two people respectively, then two people will be left behind. But if we split into two groups of three, and leave one person out, then only one person will be left behind. We'll have three people with two teams of four and three. Um... No! Wait a minute! Hmm? No! Two people get left behind if we split into five and two. We can't split into five and two. And one person is left behind if we split into three, three, and one. I got that part. You can't go through the numbered doors with any less than three people. But if we split into four and three, then why do three people have to be left behind? Just run the numbers. Let's say we go through door seven with one, four, five, six. Okay. So that's 11, 16 plus one is seven. Who's left okay. Over? That would be three, seven, eight. Which is 18, which is nine. What's the digital root for that? Three nine. plus seven plus eight is 18. So add one, eight, right. nine. Exactly. But door 9 isn't here, right? That means 3, 7, 8 won't be going anywhere. That was just an example, of course. There are a lot of different combinations, but the result will always be the same. It doesn't matter which 4 it is. The 3 that are left over can't go through any of the doors. Go ahead and calculate it if you have the time. You'll see. <coughs> anyway, that's how it is. Now if we can get back to my proposal, we only have to sacrifice one person if we split into 3, 3, and 1. Then, you're saying we gotta decide who's gonna stay behind. Well, I mean, I don't mean to be an asshole, but being that, you know, Clover's kind of freaking out right now, and we can't find Snake... Yes, we do. Given our circumstances, it's logically and morally the best solution. If the other six are to survive, then one person has to sacrifice themselves. No! That's too cruel! What's so cruel about it? To... to just sacrifice someone like that? Then what's your plan? Maybe we should sacrifice two people instead of just one. That's not what I meant! We shouldn't sacrifice anyone! I, I told you, that's impossible. Wake up! Whoa, whoa, calm down, you two. Look, what Lotus is trying to say is... You should aim to bring the greatest amount of happiness to the greatest amount of people, right? Exactly. That's how democracy works. And for that reason, I think the only fair way to decide who will be sacrificed is through a vote. What do you think? No! That's terrible! I'm not asking you. Shut up! What about you, sir? <clears throat> Me? Well, I agree, <laughs> I guess. I mean, you also just have to think about, you know, the eventuality that you can't bring more than five people through a door, so only five of y'all are making it out anyway. Even if all 
nine of the original people got to the ninth door. Four people are still getting left behind. One of them already blew the fuck up. Can't find the other. The other one's freaking out. All right, that's one vote for. Shoot, mine, they stay two. screw the plot. Seven. I can't say I agree with you, but we don't exactly have a choice. If we don't do something, we're all gonna die. Four. Glad to see you get it. If I can get one more vote, then it's decided. What about you, Clover? Uh, hey, Clover. Your brother has to be behind one of the numbered doors. We've searched everywhere, but we didn't find him. Doesn't that mean he has to have gone through one of them somehow? No, he can't! Uh. First of all, he's two. You can't go through either of those doors. Second of all, you need to leave sleepy gold. Third of all, you just seem eager to kill someone off, and I'm, you're officially part of the Sneaky Stakes Club. I don't know what's Let's wrong Let's go look you. for him together, okay? If we sacrifice one person, then we can go look for him. You agree with me, right? Okay. <laughs> the motion carries. Now, let's start a vote to... That won't be necessary. I will stay. That should solve our problem, yes? Well, you guys called it! Uh. Uh. Ace, what are you saying? No, you can't do that! That won't solve anything! Okay, so, I understand why you would be upset, June. However, in this situation, if there were any volunteers, that would really be the way to go. This way, everybody else is guiltless, and that person chose that of their own accord. June, I'm afraid you may have misunderstood me. I said I would stay, but I never said I would sacrifice myself. Huh? I trust you. Each and every one of you. That's probably going to be why you die. I don't think we're surviving this, buddy. I believe you'll come back for me. Whoa, whoa, whoa. There's optimistic, and then there's just nuts. Those doors only go one way. You go in, you don't come out. If we go through them... You won't be able to return, correct? Yeah. True, but that will not be the case once you've escaped from the ship. What? Please, I beg you. Once you've escaped, come back and rescue me. Ideally, within the time limit Zero has given us. No, that's ridiculous. There's no way we could get back in time. We've only got five hours left. We don't even know where the hell we are. How on earth are we yes. going to find someone to come and rescue you? Then, perhaps you would prefer to stay instead of me? Or perhaps you would be willing to leave June behind? You see, there's no other choice. Then I see we've come to our conclusion. Go on. Don't worry yourselves about me. Go, quickly. Uh... <laughs> Ace, no! Good. Let's accept his kind offer, then. Good. I think this is the best for me. Perhaps I'll be able to take a nap. It may be my age, but I get tired so easily these days. Well, what are you waiting for? We're wasting time. Why don't we hurry it up? You're right. We should get going. That's all we can do right now. Seven? Seriously. Honestly, I was getting kind of sick of listening to you guys talk. You too, Santa? I... I have to find my brother. W wait all of you. Let's just calm down and think about this. There has to be a way to get everyone out. There has to be. Right, Jumpy? Say something. Yeah, let's think. There's gotta be another way. Fine! Forget about it! I'll figure it out on my own! Ace! Come on, Ace! Please stand up! You can't give up yet! Oh my god, Jim. We just have to sit down together and think about this! We'll figure out a way that we can all get out of here! <sighs> 
Ace! What happened? Ace, say something! I'm all right. How are you all right? This. A syringe? Soparil Beta. What does this do? Did... did you use this? Yes. It's just... anesthetic. I'll be... fine. Anesthetic? I found it earlier. While we were searching the... hospital rooms, I thought it might be useful... later. <laughs> I didn't think I'd be... using it on... myself. Why did you do this? Didn't I tell you? I'd like to take a nap. Oh, I really Ace. am very tired. Ace! Hmm? Is there something you want to say? I'd just like to sleep a little. Could you keep it down? He's not dying, he's just... it's anesthetic. No! Don't, Ace! Don't fall asleep! Ah... <sighs> You feel warm, so comfortable. I think I'll have a nice dream. Ace! Ace! <sighs> uh, let's get him up on a bed. Well, we really don't have a choice now. We can't let his sacrifice go to waste, right? Like you even mean that. You say something? No, nothing. Yeah, but we're not done choosing yet, are we? Huh? What do you mean? Well, we haven't decided who's going in what door. Well, yes. Yes, that's true. <sighs> Enough of this screwing around. Let's decide. You first, Lotus. Which door do you want? I, um... I want door number eight. It's the same number as my bracelet number. Got it. You're eight. You're next seven. Which one do you want? I'll take seven. I can't get along with that old lady. What? Jesus what Christ. did you just say? Who, me? I, I didn't say nothing. Oh, you're gonna get it next time. All right, who's next? Junpei, which door do you want? Oh, gosh! Okay, um... Which door, guys? So I'm trying to think. All right, so in order for... So we're five. So eight, nine, seven, twelve, thirteen. This one is four, which means we would need... Clover. If we go to door eight, it would have to be us, Lotus, and Clover. Five, six, seven, eight. No. We should go through three. Yeah, I feel like door three is not numerically possible. Um, we have seven, which plus. Plus five is eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve. But we need a third person, so we can't go through three. Seven wants to go through seven. So if we're five, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve. So it's three, so we would need another four. So we could go take we could take clover with us into seven or eight. Um, those are possibilities. Um but you know what I'm thinking at this point? I think we would get separated from June. Because there's seven of us left, so there's got to be four and three. So, if we take us and Clover, that's nine. If they take us and Clover, that's nine. Plus eight is 17. Yeah, 
I don't think Jude and Jupe can be together. Well, I'm tired of Lotus's bullshit, so I'm just gonna say door seven. I... I think... I'm gonna go with door seven. Okay. Seven it is. Yeah. Alright then. That means June's gotta go through eight. What? Why? What? If the six of us are gonna keep going without leaving anyone behind, there are only three ways we can do it. Alright, he's gonna break it down now that we're sitting here. Have three, five, and eight go through seven, and four, six, and seven go through eight. Right. Four, five, and seven go through seven, and three, six, and eight go through eight. Or three, six, and seven go through seven, and four, five, and eight get eight. Right. There are no other combinations. In other words, three and four and seven and eight can never go through the same doors. Right. You get it now? Oh no. You're saying we aren't going to see each other again for a long time. Wah. <sighs> I'm going to have to hear your crazy rants about, like, topics that have nothing to do with us escaping from this stupid hey, shack. come on. You're making it sound like we're never going to see each other again. We got to split up, but only for a while. This is just like when we went into the four and five doors, remember? We got split up then too, but we all met back up. I'll bet seven and eight are just like that. You mean they're connected somewhere? Yeah, probably. Why don't you look at the fucking map? Probably. I'm sure they're gonna connect somewhere. Why? What makes you think so? If they don't, then neither team can get through door nine. That's also true. In other words, the game would end right here. Zero's been on top of his shit so far. I don't think he'd blow it now. I'm damn sure that son of a bitch wants to have his fun as long as possible. He's not gonna end this game until we get through the nine door. Hmm. Everything's gonna be fine. We're gonna see each other again. I promise. Yes. Promise? <sighs> you guys are done, right? Anyway, that's pretty much it. Clover and I will both go into separate groups. I figure I'll take eight and Clover can take seven. Alright, so we're gonna go with Clover and Any seven. Any problems with that, Clover? Whatever. Alright, we're ready to go then. Let's move. I still feel like we're leaving Snake behind though. Cause there's no way- You guys if, ready? If Snake is behind one of these doors, I'm gonna break something. Yeah. Let's do it, kids. Let's okay. do it. Okay. It's open. Let's do this! Hurry! Not nine seconds. <sighs> June. Jumpy. What the hell are you doing, Junpei? <laughs> Only 81 seconds left! No time to waste, guys! Let's get moving! Look! The door on the left! I can see the dad! Do it. Nice. <sighs> it stopped. It stopped. <laughs> This is the second time we've gone through one of these numbered doors, but... Whew. You never really get used to it. I would have thought a guy your size would have bigger balls than that. Whoa! Sick burn! Uh, 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 uh. Good what? job, Clover. <laughs> what the hell did you just say? Say it again! Oh, I dare you! She's a little kid. You have no... Whoa! <laughs> you little... You wanna die? I'd like to see you try. You fucking brat! All right, let's go. Hey, hey, calm down, guys. This isn't the kid. time for this. It's not going to do us any good. Hmm. <laughs> uh, wait here for a minute, all right? I'm going to go see if there are any other doors. We just came through this door, ah, and of course it's shut tight. There's a short hallway on the left here, and an iron wall. I doubt I can get through it. This door's the only option we've got, right? Yeah, looks like it. Alrighty. Hey, something's written on the door. On oh. that iron plate. It says operating room. Operating room. If this thing's telling the truth, there could be body parts <gasps> inside here. 
Well, this is probably not going to be pleasant. <gasps> oh! I remember this room! <gasps> oh, if this is the room that I'm thinking of... Because I haven't beaten this game before, but I got... I think I got through the second door. If this is the room that I think it is, y'all are going to be in for some shit. Well, there's no point to standing around. Might as well go in and see what's waiting for us. Oh, God. Uh, what's wrong? No, it, it's nothing. Let's just go. Huh? What the hell is this? Why don't we take a look? Hey, Clover. What is this? What? Clover! Hey, what's wrong? Wh what okay, the this hell is, not, is this? This is, this is not it. Okay, okay. Oh. Is... is this a corpse? We should probably take a closer it look. It looks like a dummy. Why would you think yeah. it's a real corpse? It looks like a dummy. This is... What the hell? That's just a huge doll or something. Are we something. gonna play surgery? Is this, is this like operation? Like if we touch the sides, we get electrocuted to death? Uh, is this what we're doing? Doll? <sighs> tell me, tell me! You're right. It's only a doll. Man, it really scared me. Oh god, Shay, is that snake? That would have been awful! <laughs> <laughs> well, I guess it would be weird if you actually had any balls. Shut it! Don't you start with me, fatty! Hey! Oh, <laughs> what's this? You want a piece of me, short stuff? Yeah, bring it on, you whale! Whoa! Hey, guys, not again, okay? Seriously, knock it off. I don't know... Okay, so first of all, his color scheme changed in his picture for some reason. Second of all, I don't know who's dumber. This girl trying to pick a fight with somebody that's like three times her size, or this guy threatening to punch a little kid into the <sighs> fucking ground. <laughs> Both of you, knock it off. Jeez. Anyway, it looks like he's got something the two of you could stand to have a little more of. Heart? I'm talking about a heart. Huh? Uh, uh, oh, this? You mean on his chest? Yeah. Why would there be a heart in a doll? I don't think it's a doll. You think maybe it's, like, a medical mannequin or something? Yeah. Or maybe it's got more... personal uses? Whoa! Seven! Whoa! Are you insinuating that that is a sex doll? <laughs> anyway, how about we take a look around this place? Let's go. We have a child here! Okay. He looks way too pleased about that thought! Get this look off your face! Sure thing. <laughs> Thank you! <laughs> Jesus Christ. Alright, I'm excited because I haven't done this before. Oh, okay, there's other, there's other little rooms too. Alright guys, it's time to seek a way out! Let's do it! Alright, let's see what we got and what we have to work with. Alright, so here we go. This is where we came in, it looks like, these double doors. So we have these two rooms that we can check. Um, we have uh, the mannequin. I'm gonna obviously check all this stuff. We'll check everything in this room and then we'll go through these two doors and see Ooh. what we have available to us. These dolls are really kind of creepy. You know? It says something here. John, you think this is doll's name? This thing's creepy. I wonder why it's on the bed. Well, when somebody in, 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 is in medical, in, in emergency medical situation, and they can't identify the person, they usually call them John Doe or Dick Jane Doe. So that would be my first thought. What is this thing? Is? It says, hey, oh, kilograms. Okay. Maybe it's a scale. There's some sort of lid on this thing. Let me try opening it. Can't, there's no handle. I can't get under with my nails either. An operating table. Do you think old operating tables look like this? Yeah, I have no idea. Alright, let's go to the left and work from there. Hello? Internal organ, specifically a lock. And that gives it a gut show. Ew, gross. Yeah, sure is. There's something in there. Get it out. Damn it. Big old budge. Alright, well. Need something small that can fit into that little hole. And I assume that will let me get that lung out. Alright, so what's this? Oh! A scalpel! 
coming up, but it's not rusty. It seems it was pretty for a reason, huh? Maybe some of us do something? I think so. I don't know if something's useful. It's all pretty rusty. Okay. Once you guys think they can fit into the cracks, well, I have the, 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 the knife. Alright, well, I guess that's not a thing. Alright, uh, there's a whole bunch of bottles on the shelves. They all look like medicine. They've got labels, but they're big medical words that I don't understand. Uh, can I tell them apart? Drawers up. There. Oh, a fake chest. Okay. It looks like there's something for a knife in here. No, okay. Um, oh, I should also, um... Chest. Oh, that's gross. It's a woman's chest. The heart's gone, but it's pretty hot. That kind of thing turns you on seven. You're a real creepo. Oh, Jesus Christ. Well, maybe you have to cut the heart out of the mannequin and put it there. Are you supposed to eat something like that? Um, is that gross? Is that bacteria? There's a boiling thing over there. There's nothing on the lid or in the Red liquid. 
Do some chemistry tonight! Ammonia is NH3 carbon. Yes, I know carbon dioxide is CO2. It's literally one carbon and two oxygen. Literally carbon dioxide. This bottle says NH3! Well, that would be ammonia. It's ammonia. Hydrogen monoxide on the shelf, that's water. Right. What's this? Looks like the can with a spray nozzle. It says CO2. That would be carbon dioxide. So it's a can full of dioxide. Slugs on the ship, well, if there are, Salt on them. Label states NaCl. Correct. This doesn't even show up if you put it on him. Hey, you see some? Bottle of iron on the powder shelf. I don't mind. The label says Fe. Alright, so we definitely need to be spelling things, I think. So I've got labels for everything here. I mean, water is dihydrogen monoxide. Uh, water is H2O. Um, we need the, the ethanol is what we're missing. Let's go for a drink. What are you talking about? I'm talking about that bottle. It says, oh, C2H5OH. That is true, it could be anything in there. So it seems like we were just kind of meant to get the letters and the numbers. out of that room. So let's go to the preparation room. Does that say preparation room? That definitely says preparation room. It's locked, but... I do. I see where this is going, I do believe. 
Sophia is four. And how is ethanol nine? I don't get where you're getting that rationale from. Number of atoms. So that's interesting, except for the fact that I got you. Wait, right, because that's two, but that's seven, eight, nine. Right, ethanol has nine. I see what you're getting at. You're looking at the number of molecules as nine. And then there's NH3, that's four. And then CO2 has three. So you're saying three, four, nine. Yeah, that was it. I knew it had to do with some one of the numbers or the molecular make up of those three at some point, but I didn't quite know what. There's the right arm. It's kind of creepy. Agreed. What is this? Oh, there's the fake heart. Um, do I have to combine that with the chest? No, okay. Uh, you think we should go back? Yeah, yeah I think that's probably best. Hey, Seven, what's up? Oh, well... Is... is that a medicine bottle? I got curious about it. Here. What? Ethylene diamine tartrate? Yeah, that's right. CDT. CDT. What kind of medicine is that? It's not medicine. I think it's an industrial strength detergent. Why would they have something like that here? To wash blood out of shit? Well, probably to clean stuff up. Yeah. Clean what up? Yeah, Shay, you're killing it tonight, girl. Fuck if I know. Still, it looks like it's cleaned my brain up. You remember something? Yeah. Well, I remember a story about EDT. Happened about uh -oh. 50 years ago. There was this we factory know, somewhere in America again. making big old EDT. <laughs> they were making it to sell as an industrial strength cleaner, like I told you before. Right. But. But. Everything changed when the Fire Nation attacked? A year after the factory started up. Something strange started happening with the crystals they were building. Water molecules started attaching themselves to the ADT crystals. This made them into a sort of mutation of the original crystals, called a hydrate. What is this with these stories about, like, like things mutating on their own. We had several stories Once about the crystals now. turn into a hydrate, though, it's useless as a cleaner. The factory had to just dump the crystals. As a hydrate, they were useless. But it didn't end there. After that day, the same thing started happening in EDT factories everywhere. Even ones nowhere near that first American this factory. Is, is this not like the third story we've heard about? Scientists did a thing to a thing, and then all of a sudden that thing all around the world started changing. We had that with um, the story that, that that Lotus told about the um, the that dog picture that like everybody around the world started seeing the dog more once it was put on television. Um, we've, 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 we've had like three stories like this. They've been making crystals the same way, with the same materials and the same equipment and environment. But now, all of a sudden, every single crystal they formed turned into a hydrate. In fact, ever since that day, no factory anywhere has been able to make a pure EDT crystal. Even in EDT research done years before, they'd never gotten a hydrate. But after it happened at the first factory, it just... spread. It was like... Man, how do you say it? Like the molecules were communicating with one another, transmitting information in a way humans couldn't perceive. This phenomena spread throughout the world, right? Yeah, that's... that's it exactly. But... How did you know? I heard another story, uh, kind of right? like that one. Right? It's not just me! When? In the freezer? What? The freezer? Oh, on this close-up I thought his color palette changed, it's just you don't see the yellow. Yeah, jumpsuit. June told me. Hmm. 
Surprised that doesn't melt at room temperature, huh? Right! And Lotus told us about the dog picture! That sounds familiar. Yeah, hold up. I, I feel like I can remember something. It's right there. Do you? What's the difference between these two questions? Know something about it? I told you I think I do. Just hold on. Uh, it was... Uh, damn it! Why'd you have to ask me some dumbass question? I totally lost my train of thought. Uh... Mm. Uh... I, he probably would have remembered if I asked him the other question. Sorry, man. Fuck, I'm so dumb. Yeah, you know you're hey, right. what are you two doing over there? Stop wasting time and get over I here! I should saved beforehand. Okay, okay, we're coming. Oh, Dom. Jeez. Well, you said that like 30 seconds after I chose oh, you well. guys want to delay. Look, if I remember anything, I'll let you know. All right? Right now, we need to get the hell out of this room, though. Okay? Well, if I have any things like that with him in the future, I'll be sure to, uh... To ask him more directly. Um, I should have said Ice-9. I don't know why I didn't. Okay, this is how we
Unless we want to... 
play probably 2.2 from him. Which is everything but the heart. I did do every body part except the heart. That was the first thing I tried. That was the first thing I tried. That, that was the first thing I did, was, was do everything but the heart. Why did that not work the first time? That was the first thing I did, was swap out everything but the heart. Because that, that was the first thing that I came up with. How did that not trigger like it was supposed to? That's very weird. That was the first thing that I came up with. Because altogether the difference is 2.5 and I needed to add 2.3 to her. And the heart was a 2.2 extra. So you just swap out everything but the heart. That was, was that not the first thing I said? Is I was like, it should be everything but the heart. Then I swapped it out and that was all. Something else must have gotten swapped. That I, I must have swapped something else on accident that I wasn't paying attention to. Because that was the first thing I said was everything but the heart, was it not? I really should have saved after each of these individual puzzles. Oh well. Maybe we can open that split on the scale now. Oh, there's the key! Hey, hold on. Oh, uh, what's oh. up? Where's Clover? Huh? What? Oh, god damn it. Where the hell did she go? Uh, okay, J just hold on a minute. I'll go get her. Sure thing. Hey, Clover. What's wrong? Come on. Let's get out of here. <sighs> what are you doing? Did you want to come back here and say goodbye to John? Hey, Clover. Can you hear me? My brother... might be dead. Uh, huh? He's not here. That's why we couldn't find him. If he's dead, I'm going to be next. What, what are you talking about? What's wrong with you? Uh, uh. Let's give it to oh, yeah. It's in my pocket somewhere. Ah, here it is. A four-leaf clover. Hey, did you know? Each leaf means something. Hope, faith, love, and luck. That's what a four-leaf clover stands for. Take it. Use it as a good luck charm. Listen to me, clover. No matter what happens, you can never lose hope. You have to remember what's most important, and that's to have faith and to have love. If you can remember all of those, that'll bring you good luck. <laughs> Snake, I, I mean, your brother. He's not dead. He's alive, somewhere. I, I'm sure of it. You've just got to believe in that. Yeah, just fake it till you make it. <gasps> Thank you. Thank you. Now come on. Seven's waiting for us at the exit. Wait, before we go, there's one thing I want to ask you. What's that? What do you think when you hear the word experiment? What? Uh, what? Oh. Huh. I guess it was just a coincidence, then. I mean, that you knew about the four-leaf clover. Uh, look, I'm, I'm sorry. Uh, I, I don't want to be a jerk, but you are making less than no sense right now. Oh, no, no, no. It's nothing. Just forget about it. There's some shit oh, going don't, on. Oh, don't give me that. Uh, you really think I could just drop and this? And all of y'all are sneaky snakes! What is this experiment you were talking about? Promise you won't tell anyone? Cross my heart. Really? Really. I can trust you, right? Of course you can. Okay then, I'll tell you. I'll tell you what happened on this ship nine years ago. What? Wait, wait, wait. Y on this ship? Yeah, this ship. It was an experiment to test some sort of psychic thing. 
communicating through these fields that you can't see. Again, three stories about the same damn thing. Fields that you can't see? Like, think about this. This is John, right? But is he really John? Huh? Isn't this like Locke's socks? Or the ship of Theseus? Um... You don't know? You haven't heard of those paradoxes? No? Really? Okay, well pay attention then. This is how Locke's socks works. Are we just gonna start adding numbers to like Illuminati confirm? Hey guys, guess what? Junpei and Clover are talking right now. Junpei's number is five and Clover's four. Pipe is four is nine. Oh god, Illuminati! <laughs> Let's say I've got a pair of socks. Okay. They're my favorite socks. One of them gets a hole in it. Okay. What would you do if that was your sock, Junpei? Throw them both out? Uh... Well, I'd pitch it, I guess. But it's your favorite pair of socks! Come on, who loves their socks that much? It doesn't matter. Just suppose you do love them that much. Hmm. Well, I guess then I'd patch it. But what if another hole opens? I'd add another patch, I suppose. What if another hole opened after that? Um, another Eventually, patch, they would just be I guess? The patches. Well, let's say you just keep adding new patches. Then it's not your favorite sock anymore. Until eventually, the original cloth of the sock is totally gone. Once you get to that point, can you really say they're the same socks you started with? Hmm. Uh, well, that... Hmm, that's... Oh, that's tough. So, that's the lock socks thing? Yeah, the ship of Theseus is a lot like it. The ship of Theseus. If you keep fixing the damaged parts of a ship, eventually it ends up with none of the parts it started with. Can you really say that ship is the same one you started with? And what if you took all the old parts from the first ship and built another one somewhere else? Then which ship is the real ship of Theseus? The one you repaired, or the one you built with all the original parts? Hmm. Hey, do you think it's the same? What's the same? These guys. Is this John, or is it Lucy now? Hmm. Uh. They still have their original hearts, though. And hearts are what determine what a person really is. You want to get fucking philosophical, let's John's go there. John's head and heart are both his. Right. But apart from those, and a single arm, the rest of his body was once Lucy's. Right. We're just like these mannequins. Think about it. The cells in our body change every day. Old ones die and new ones are born. And if you want to get super philosophical, those uh, numbered bracelets that have the bomb triggers in them, they're all on everybody's left arm. Maybe part of my arm is made of stuff from a fish I ate once. I don't know about that. Or maybe part of your right side is made from a cow you ate. If you take it a little further, those cows and fishes are made from something else too, right? That's how we're all connected. Through fields that can't be seen with the naked eye. Hey, what the hell has taken you two so long? Oh my god. How long are you going to make me wait? We don't have time to screw around. <sighs> oh, what were you two doing? Was this some sort of secret meeting? No, it wasn't. We were just... Just... Playing. With the mannequins. Huh? Let's go, Junpei. Playing with mannequins, huh? Didn't know you were into that kind of thing, Junpei. After what you just insinuated you were into while we were in this room, I don't <sighs> want to hear it. <sighs> You're a dick. Really? Alright, I'm gonna open it now. Is that cool? You don't need to keep asking, just do it, alright? <sighs> Fine then. Yes! <sighs> alright. Let's get going. Let's hey, go. Hey, man, what's up with you? You're so serious, you know? Can't you sound more happy, you know, get a little excited? <sighs> You're just gonna meet up with the group again and have to pick someone else to kill off. <sighs> Not really. <sighs> My brother might, might be, be dead. dead. I'm, I'm going, going to be next. next. Like hell I can. Not after hearing something like that.
There too, huh? Every door in this place is locked up tight. How about that one? May as well give it a try. Jumpy! Huh? Hey! June? The other losers! And Santa! And Lotus too! Hey! Oh! What the hell is this? What are you doing here? What? But we didn't... Hey guys! Could you come take a look at this? Look on the wall here. A oh, map of the map. ship's interior? Another map! It says Sea Deck. So it's the map for this floor then? Mm -hmm. Door 7 and... Door 8. Yep, ah. they both eventually end up at this hallway. Yeah, isn't that what I said? We aren't going to be split up permanently till we find door 9. We might get separated for a little while, but we'll see each other again. Otherwise, we won't be able to open door 9. And that's how the nonary game works. I see. Wait a sec. Hey, could this lead to... Oh! You've got to be kidding me. Huh? We may as well go. Yeah. Oh, I almost forgot. We should keep this. Mm -hmm. Ready? I'm gonna open it. I knew it. Mm. We're back. Really? In the hospital room. I see. I believe I understand what you're saying. The six of you split into two teams and went through doors seven and eight. Wow! You solved the puzzles in the operating room and the laboratory, and then met one another in the hallway after opening your respective locked doors. At any rate, I feel a bit silly for my little show of altruism. No, he didn't die. He injected himself with anesthesia. That's the stuff that you put, you put people to sleep during surgery. You wake up eventually. He was just trying to, one, take a nap because it's midnight and he's old as fuck, and also not give them a choice and just make them move on. I know I said I was sure you'd come back for me. I didn't think it would happen so soon, though. Really? Well, we saw each other again and we ain't dead, so I say that's good enough. Anyway, I say we get out of this creepy old place. We found the key we need. The key? Ain't that what I just said? I'm talking about the Jupiter key. We found it in the operating room. Right, Junpei? Yeah. Oh, the solar system keys. Right. Actually, we found one in the laboratory, too. Oh. Here, mm. the Earth key. The laboratory was the one that I was thinking about. It's the other room. It gets some crazy shit where, um, I think you have to bring Clover with you into that room, too, if you go. And, um, if I remember correctly, there's, like, another dummy down there and you have to mess with stuff and then it starts like electrocuting the dummy and shit just starts going wild and people start getting hurt like i remember it being a fucking shit show maybe if we enjoy this enough that you guys want to take another pass through the rooms that we haven't solved um we can do that just to see them all but um i that's what i was thinking of so it was the other room that i was thinking about I might got the use Earth it. Key. It's probably better to <coughs> hold on to it. That way it won't be my fault if it gets lost. The Earth Key, I think, was that door in between the two main stairways in the first room where we all met each other, I think? Yeah. On it. Now we have three keys that we haven't used yet. Yeah. The Jupiter Key that we found in the operating room. Right. The Saturn key card we found in the kitchen. Right, but that let us out of the kitchen, but there were some there were some elevators with key cards that might be. And good the for that Earth too. key Lotus just gave me. Right. The Jupiter key is supposed to be for the door at the end of that long straight hallway, right? Right. Yeah. If the map's right, then it connects to the central staircase. Then next to the stairs. Wait! What about door three? Look, you saw the map, right? It's the same as 7 and 8. It just lead us back to the big hospital room. There's no point to seeing what's on the other side of that door. There is a point. Oh, yeah, her brother. At least there is for me. Yeah, you're right, I'm sorry. 
Snake might be on the other side of door three. Very well. I'll be coming with you then. I've had a nice long rest. I think it's time I was up and about again. So Seven, you'll help me, won't you? Seven. Eight. Twelve. Yeah, the three of you huh? can go in. Me? Damn. Well, <clears throat> I guess that's how it's gotta be. So I'm going with you, huh? Yes, you are. All right, let's get moving. Okay, we're heading out. Be careful. Whoa. Didn't think I'd be hearing that from you. Lois. Really? You're just like looking for reasons to sacrifice people. Lady. Don't let it go to your head. I'd be in trouble if the three of you bought it. The That's rest of us too. can't open the nine door. Ah, the truth comes out. Okay, we're off. Uh, the last time they mentioned time left, they had five hours left. But we haven't heard another chime yet, so I assume somewhere between four and five hours. All right, hours. we should get moving too. Huh? Get moving? Where are we going? Well, it would be a waste of time to just sit around, wouldn't it? Let me explain. Oh, I get it. We're going to see if we can get anywhere interesting with the Jupiter key. Yes. If we're lucky, we might find Snake. And here's the Jupiter symbol on the keyhole. Right. All right, Junpei. Open it, if you please. Yeah, on it. Let's see what's in here. It's going to be terrible. Oh. It's a Great. Back to the beginning. You sure this is a good idea? What do you mean? Well, we already searched every inch of this room, didn't we? I'm asking you if there's any reason we came back here. The Earth Key. Of course there's a reason. Man, sometimes I can't tell if you're smart or just lucky. Huh? This. The Saturn Key Card. Or the Saturn Key Card, which, uh, yeah. And the Earth Key? I'm We're lost. Both in here. Don't you remember, Santa? On Sea Deck, where we are now, there was a big elevator behind the stairs, remember? And next to the elevator, there was a card reader with the Saturn symbol on it. And on A deck, on the door to the left, right, there's the there was a keyhole with the Earth symbol on it. I think. So the two keys that Jumpy has should let us use the elevator and the door on A deck. Huh. Yes, that's right. All right, I got it. Let's get started then. What do you say we split into two teams? Lotus and I will search the Earth one, so you okay. two can search Saturn. All right? Sounds good. Then you guys should take this key. We have no idea what's on the other side of these. <laughs> so don't go too far. Just search for ten minutes and come back. And before There's they a card reader back. next to the left elevator. <coughs> then let's try out the Saturn key card. Great! It looks like it's working now. All right. Now how do I call the elevator? Oh. It only has the upside down triangle on it. <sighs> I guess there's no up button. But down is water. Well, we may as well try pushing this one. I feel like it, this is a bad It opened! Plan. Look, Jumpy! Oh, sweet! <laughs> it opened! Let's get going. W w wait! What? Uh. I'm not really, uh... I just, uh... Oh, gosh. Yeah. <sighs> Come to think of it, the lower floor. Yeah. The deck is completely underwater. An elevator heading to a submerged floor. That is pretty scary. Hey, wait a minute. This elevator came up from somewhere under us, right? Um, well, yes, I guess it did. It didn't open right away, after you pressed the button. There was a motor noise, like it was moving, and then it opened. Right. Yeah, exactly. <laughs> yes. So you're saying wherever it leads to must not be flooded. So, take a look inside. <laughs> it's not wet at all, is it? The walls and even the floor are totally dry. Oh, you're right. They are. Well, let's test it. Test it? Yeah, watch this. 
Now, I'll just put one foot inside the elevator and look over at the buttons. Oh, there's only two, E and C. All right, I'll push E. I, I think I can hear it opening on E deck. Okay, that's done. Now I'll just press the button again. All right, just double checking. I guess that makes sense. Ah, zero yep, pops out. Not a single oh. drop of water to be seen. See? What does that mean? How can E deck be safe if the D deck is full of water? Well, That's a good here's question. what I think. The elevator shaft and E deck must be watertight and separated from wherever the ship's been punctured. Here, uh, let me show you. I see. So is that why the ship hasn't sunk? The shape of the Probably. inside keeps it all from filling with water? Yeah, I think that's what's going on. So I'm gonna go down and check it out. You stay here, all right? Oh, don't separate. Um, but... Come on, just do it, all right? I I'm coming with you! Huh? Hey, wait! Uh-huh. Oh, crap. It closed. I can't just let you go alone, you know. Ah, jeez. It yeah. looks normal. Mm -hmm. I'll knock it off. It's just like I thought. This part hasn't flooded. Come on, just look around. There's no water here. <sighs> You're right. It's not flooded at all. See? But there's a whole lot of water. Yeah, right on top of us. Yup! That's not gonna be a bad thing. What's gonna happen if the ceiling breaks? We'd probably die. Oh no. Don't be so casual about something like that. At any rate, <laughs> we should probably go back no, as soon as we dies. can. Once we're done looking around down here. Lotus and Santa might already be back. Okay, good idea. Now then... Iron bars. Well, we can't go over there. Right. right. Then maybe... Well... It oh. looks like there's a long straight hallway down this way. There's a door number six, but there's only two of us, so we can't go through there. Something's written on the door at the end. Wait, is that... Let's check. I knew it! This is a numbered door! But we can't do anything with only the two of us. We better head back and let everyone know. Yes. Wait, what's this? Is this the map for E-Deck? I should take it with me. Oh, nice. Huh, so you guys found door one. So now we've located two new doors. The six door and the one door. Right. And we have three, seven, and eight. So we have one, three, four, five, six. Seven, eight. So we're missing two and nine. I think those are the only doors we haven't seen. Hmm. You know, it is interesting that E deck wasn't flooded. <laughs> well, we don't really know if all of E deck is safe. We only checked the area around the elevator. Even so, it's still very interesting. You said the six door was there, right? Yes. Then that means Zero planned all this out, even the sinking. That would have meant some pretty serious remodeling of the ship's interior. It's pretty mind-blowing when you think about it. Yeah. yeah. I wonder how long it took. I can't even imagine how much it must have cost. It would have been a ton, that's for sure. Well, that does go along with what Ace was saying. The most reasonable explanation would be that this was done by some organization with access to a whole lot of cash. Yes, it does make sense. Hmm. 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 Um. Yeah? Um, I don't think it's a very good idea to stay here. Yeah, you're right. Ace and his team might be back already. Well, June, Junpei, and I should be able to open door one. Huh? You guys leaving me behind? Just kidding. All right, let's go. Drop him off with the others. I mean... Hey! 
Where the hell did you guys go? Seven? Hmm. Uh-oh. Uh. You didn't find your brother, What's did wrong? You? What happened? What the hell kind of question is that? Snake was... Snake is... <gasps> Snake is... Dead. Oh, shit! He died, just as the ninth man did. What? Oh my god, that's not true, is it? Wait. Uh, we should make sure. Yeah, right, we should. Wait, not that way. What? Why not? I stuck a screwdriver in there to keep the door from closing all the way. It's not locked, so you can go in that way. Uh, where is, uh, where is he? The shower room. Left side of the hallway. I put a broom now, in there too. To keep the door. Open. It could. It could. Uh, unless we have some distinguishing features. If he is zero, he could have staged his own death. Well, that means we can get in without going through the numbered door, right? Yeah, that's right. Then let's go. This wasn't open when we passed here before. Well. Let's keep going. Oh, it smells horrible. Oh, yeah, this is pretty awful. I feel like I'm gonna puke. Oh, oh. Hmm. Where is he? Where's Snake? There. June, you should stay here. But... Please, just do me a favor, okay? All right? I'm going in. Mm. Uh. Uh. <laughs> Just like Ace said. Just like the Ninth Man. The detonator in his bracelet set off the bomb in his gut. Oh god. The, the bone is coming out of his left arm. It's definitely an open fracture. Oh, the face. It's horrible. Yeah, you can't even tell who it is. Yeah, see, I feel like that's... I feel like that... This is the problem. I feel like I am very... S Snake is at the top of my list right now. Snake is at the top of my list. But the clothes are... No mistake about it. It's Snake. That's what you think. I don't believe it. Snake was probably murdered. Chances are he was killed the same way the Ninth Man was. It's pretty straightforward. Not that hard to figure out how they did it. Wait, 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 wait. Okay, so wait, so let's think this through. Let's think this through. In order for him to be killed, the, uh, the easiest way for him to have been killed would have been for somebody to go in there, because you need at least three to five people, right? And whoever walked in there had to walk out without him, but got him in there. And that door number is three, and he was two. So at least two other people had to let him in. Now, if they let him in and then closed the door and didn't go in themselves, that would have killed him. So does that mean the two people here on the ship are murderers? Could Zero be more than one person? First, the killers got Snake to authenticate on the red to open door three. Then they shoved him into it. Yeah! Alone. Exactly what I just said. And waited nine seconds for the door to shut. And once that door shut, it was all over for Snake. But he didn't give up. He probably knew it wouldn't do him any good, but he probably ran into the shower room looking for the dead. It was a small chance, but it wasn't like he had anything to lose. Unfortunately, it didn't work. The detonator is only deactivated if everybody who authenticated when they went in uses the dead. Snake was the only one who went through the door, and then 81 seconds after he was shoved in, that happened. I see. So that's what you meant by killers, huh? You need at least three people to open one of the numbered doors, Correct. including Snake. 
it wouldn't open for Snake and a single killer. Yeah, that means we're looking at multiple perps here. Well, just in case, I want to make sure. Let's say you're right. When do you think Snake was killed? When we all split up to look for the parts for the Reds, I think. That would be the most likely point. Right after that was when we noticed he was gone. Then that means none of us have alibis. We were all off searching the rooms we'd been assigned, looking for those parts. So anybody who could go into that room with him in a, in, in a combination. And it doesn't necessarily have to just be two people either, if you really think about it. Yeah. That means anybody could be a killer. Wait a minute. What are you talking about? How can you say that so casually? You're implying that one of us is a killer. Well, not just one of us. If I'm right, then at least two of us at are least. murderers. Why don't you calm down a bit, Seven? Yo, in before everybody is in on this except for Junpei. <laughs> oh god, that would be terrible. What are you going to gain by being so suspicious? <laughs> That's what Zero wants, you know? What? Zero wants? Exactly. This game was set up by Zero, wasn't it? Any game has a winner and loser. Whoever makes it through door nine is a winner. And those who don't are the losers. Zero is trying to make us fight against one another for that victory. Then you're saying that Zero is trying to split us up by making us fight each other? Well, yeah. Yes. That is why we can't let ourselves fall prey to suspicion. Okay, now you're being suspicious. We have to trust one another and form a strong Don't bond worry of about friendship. about the fact that at least two of us are killers. Let's just, let's just all trust each other. Otherwise, we'll Ace. end up ensnared by Zero's manipulations. Ace. Then does that mean that the person who killed Snake... Yes. Almost certainly Zero himself. Yo, usually in these situations, it's like the person that you least suspect. What if June was Zero? If there's anyone we should doubt... It should be Zero. He masterminded this game and kidnapped all of us. Doesn't it seem reasonable that he would have killed Snake as well? Hmm, good question. If Zero killed Snake, then Zero is on the ship with us. Yes, that was the thought I brought up earlier. Was Zero still on the ship with them? Um... But I don't... Where could Zero be hiding? I think... I think Zero is... one of us. Yep! I call that! Yep! I I'm telling you! No, now I'm just gonna keep going with the fact that it's June! I'm just gonna harp on that! It's June or Clover! Hmm. Well, that's possible. Huh? Like Clover said, Zero might be one of us. What are <laughs> you saying, Jumpy? Didn't you hear what Ace said? Exactly. I said we shouldn't suspect one another for no reason. No reason? I've got a great reason. Yeah, there's plenty of reason. And what's that? The bracelets. Why are the bombs in our bodies connected to the bracelets? You're all thinking Zero's hiding somewhere watching us, right? If he's doing that, then he could just detonate the bombs by remote control if someone did something they weren't supposed to. It would be a lot more precise and a lot easier. But, if that's the case, then why is the bomb set off by the detonator in the bracelet? I mean, that's a little bit stretching, but I see what you're getting at. Huh. <sighs> you got a point. It's a way for the rules to be enforced while he's still among you? I'm not done. Try applying she, the same June. ideas to the nonary game. All of the puzzles here run all by themselves. In other words, Zero doesn't have to be controlling them for the game to move forward. Why is that? Why would Zero yeah, bother it could to be do Ace something too. like that? It could be anybody, really. It literally could be anyone. So let's say you and Clover are right. Zero's one of us. If that's the case, then it'd be really hard for him to keep track of all of us or control anything remotely. That's why all the puzzles run by themselves. It has to be Ace. That's what you're getting at, right? Yeah. Seven, when we were talking earlier, you said any one of us could be Snake's killer, right? Yeah, something like that. All right, then. I've got a question for you, Ace. You said something like Zero must be the one who killed Snake, right? Yes, yeah, something like that. I can't think of any other explanation. 
So what do we get if we combine those? They fit together pretty well, I think. Something like this. Whoever killed Snake is Zero. Hence, Zero is one of us. One of us Seven Snake. and Ace's theories aren't mutually exclusive. They right. actually complement each other pretty well. At least they do if Zero is one of us. What were his motives? His motives? Yes, isn't that pretty important? Why would Zero want to hide as one of us? Oh, well, that's because... Um, he second wants to enjoy the game from a front row I seat? I don't know. Well, so much for making a persuasive argument, Junpei. In other words, you only had circumstantial evidence. I don't really think that's enough to go on, you know? Ah. Ooh. We got three hours it's left! It's three in the morning. That means we have three hours left. Then we need to move now. Seven, Clover, Junpei. I know how you feel. But you do understand that right now, it's important we trust one another, don't you? You're right, but... We must go. We have very little time left. The hands on these drawings are pissing Our me off. Our next destination sorry. is... Mercury. Mercury. Right. But maybe you and June should check it out first, and then report back to us. All right. Let's go, June. Right. Or maybe everybody but June and us are zero. Here it is. The Mercury card reader. We're using the card Seven gave us, right? Yeah. I found it when we were checking out the shower room. I think Seven said something like that. Anyway, let's see what happens. I guess the elevator works now. Jumpy, I know it's only the two of us, but let's do our best. What's with you all of a sudden? Well, I'm happy we were put together. Oh uh, you know it's just for searching e deck. Watch right? this. She's like so obsessed with Junpei that she orchestrated all this just so that they would fall in love. Even so, I'm it's, glad I'm, I'm, I'm so June. It's June or I'm just going oh. for it. I'm going for the crack pocket spheres. First, theories. we need to find out if the elevator comes up full it's of water. Not actually, but I'm gonna say just like we did before. Oh, here it is. I knew it. It's not wet at all. Let's go. Yes. Look! Nearly all of the buttons are destroyed. Yeah, only the C and bottom button can be pushed. We're on C deck right now, so the only one we can choose is bottom. Yeah. Well, let's try it out. This is the bottom deck. Hey, over there. There's this is a two. numbered door. This is the eighth one we found. We found there were two them, numbered doors on B deck near the central staircase. But, behind, but which of these doors has nine behind it? My assumption here is that all three of them somehow lead to the back door. That would be my natural assumption. They were doors we'll four and five. Right. Three oh, more in the here. large hospital room. And then three, seven, and eight all led back into Doors this Doors three, seven, and eight. And the door we found on E deck, and the door Lotus and Santa found on A deck. It was a six on the door on E deck, and a one on the door on A deck. That means... Do you think the next door we find... Yeah, I think one. so. The next one's gonna be door nine. Finally! Yeah. You don't look very happy about it, though. It's not that. I just hope nothing goes wrong. It's gonna be time to make some decisions. Oh, Shelties? Shelties, you missed some shit? You're right. We should keep our fingers crossed. Shelties, you missed... So, uh, my theory now is that June is zero, or Ace is zero. Snake is dead. So, Snake is dead. We found him exploded in room three, thinking that two people went with him to open the door at least two people and pushed him in and then closed the door behind him yeah i'm i'm see now we're all going with the crackpot theory june is zero so shay still thinks that it's ace say it's ace see i think the fact that she's obsessed with junpei is 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 proof that she is zero 
All right, so we got Team Junpei and Team Ace. If you're in the chat right now and just lurking, or if you're watching this on YouTube, let me know who you think the murderer is. Don't, don't cheat. Come along for the Let's ride. We're going to figure it out. Okay. One, two, three, four. All right, seven pieces. Just double checking, but everyone wrote their code name and a door number they want, right? Well, see, that's another interesting thing too. Is all nine of them were together when when Zero first spoke to them, but he didn't respond to anything they said, so it could have easily been a, a pre-recording. You know what I mean? Okay, so we're just we're 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 playing. Yes, the just like now. you told us earlier. I can't believe we're voting here. We need to make the whole thing fair, blah -de blah This is a complicated plan, you know. Hurry it up, Mr. I have a brilliant idea. Yeah, yeah, quiet in the peanut gallery. All right, let's open these up. The first one says, Ace requests door one. Yes, I do. Would you like me to explain why? No, we don't have time for that. Sorry, let's keep going. Next is Santa. He wants door six. Yeah, that's what I wrote. Clover wants one, Lotus wants two, and Seven also wants two. Uh, wait a minute. Uh, there is no way I'm going anywhere with the Elephant Man. Whoa. No, there'd be no point to the voting if we let people change their choices because of stuff like that. But... No. Just give it up, Lotus. It's not like I want to hang out with some exhibitionist grandma. Whoa! I'm not an exhibitionist. I'm wearing clothes. First of all, she's wearing clothes. Second of all, she's pretty fucking banging, dude. I don't care how old she is, she's pretty stacked. Barely. So, last I checked, that's not a crime. Maybe. But what about common decency? Oh, please. Nobody wants to have to look at a chick who looks like a half-naked raisin. What? Oh, I'm gonna kill you! Oh my god! Oh, not good. Either you two are fighting, go, or you are I'm having sex. Either him. way, stop it. Junpei, read the rest. Uh, right. June wants door six. Yes. I don't really have a reason. I just felt like it. Aha! Uh -huh, okay, Zero! <laughs> We're just going so this in. This was everyone's vote. We have three hours left, Sheldies. There's three hours left in game time. Ace and Clover requested door one. Seven and Lotus requested door two. Santa and June requested door six. Then the door I should choose is... Okay, the last one is mine. I want to go through. Um. Oh, I don't remember what he said. Oh, here we go. Okay. Um. Alright, so Ace and Clover. So that's five plus us is ten is one. So we could do that. Seven and Lotus. That's um fifteen plus us is twenty. So that's two. Santa is three and juice, so that's nine. Tell is fourteen. No, wait. Santa's three, June is six. So that's nine, and then tell is fourteen. So I can't go with Santa in June because that's not gonna let me into door six, so I have to choose either door one or door two. So which one do you guys Ooh. think we should do? Door one or door two? Yeah, Shelties, numerically we can't go through six. Yeah. I will right, well, she says door one. Uh, one? Okay, let's go door one. My choice is door one. Hey, wait a minute there. And he didn't throw it a piece cheating? of paper. Cheating? I'm asking if you changed your number after you heard what doors we wanted. How could I do that? I wrote it down on the paper earlier. Let me see that. Sure, here. I had three pieces of paper ready. Nice! And I put the one with door six on it into the pot. Oh! I just needed to make sure I drew last. After I saw everyone else's result, I just chose whatever door I wanted. Wow. If the number I'd already put in matched, then I didn't have to switch the paper out. Well, what does it say? <laughs> You got lucky. Yeah, Very well. We've decided who will go through door one. It will be Clover, Junpei, and myself. Um, yeah. All right, so you think Ace and... We're going we're gonna to spend a little time with Ace. Our only so problem is the two remaining teams. We are sneaky. 
June and I want door six. Lotus and I want door two. All right, well, you both can't do that, so you gotta get together and make a thing. That's not good. We can't open either of those doors with only two people. <sighs> Aw. Fine. Seven, we'll go through door six. Sure thing. I didn't really want to go through door two anyway. Besides, if we've got a younger girl with us, it'll lower the average age. Wow! Right, June? Uh, well, I... I am... Um... Pig. You just wait and see. She just goes sliding along. Call me old. This is why men are such a pain in the ass. They're about as subtle as a brick. And they're at it again. I'll see you later, June. Jumpy. Don't make that face. It'll be like what Seven said. We aren't going to be, be split, split up, permanently up permanently till we find door, door nine. nine. We might, we get, might separated get separated for a little while, while but we'll see each other, other again. again. Otherwise, Otherwise, we won't be able to open door nine. nine. That's how the notary game works. It'll be fine. I'll see you soon. All right. See you later. Here's a deck. I still like the, the left, idea that right? everybody but Junpei is, is zero, and they're all just fucking with him. I'm gonna go with that. <laughs> that should be it, yes. Or it's it's the nine guy or snake, and they fake their death. Here we go. Although I think it's probably much more likely that snake faked his death. Um. Then, uh, then the nine guy doing it, because we were right outside the door for the explosion. Nobody was around the door, the third it's door. just as Santa and Lotus said. When Snake died. A numbered door. There's the red. I'll go first. Now the two of you, if you would. <laughs> now. Are you ready? Shall I pull it? Yeah, anytime. <laughs> Very well, then. Let's go. Three, two... One. All right, have fun finding And it's again. open! Move it! Where? Where is it? There, uh, there it, is. it is! Over there! Uh. Uh. It stopped. Yes. It did. Whew. I don't believe I'll ever get used to that. I'm not sure it's something I'd want to get used to. We should finish this game before imminent death becomes a normal thing. Really? <laughs> I agree. Now then. All right, let's see what we got here. There's um, another door. Let's try opening it. So, this is the wheelhouse? I mean, do I, I remember this room? Did I get this Ace, far in this game? Ace, you investigate the wheelhouse next door. Very well. What? Clover, you're in charge of this room. I'm very confused. <sighs> Say something. Okay, I will. Have I beaten this game before? Am I? Is my memory this bad that I beat this game before? I don't remember. All right then, is. let's get started. I don't think so. This does look fake. Unless I watch the video of it. Alright, let's see what we can find. Judah Zero and Ace is just a murderer taking advantage of the insanity. I think it's just, it's just... Alright, here we go. This map looks weird. What is it? It's a map of the world with the Atlantic Ocean in the middle. Probably looks weird because you're not used to seeing it that way. Right, there's something on it. Yes, it's... Yeah, there's... Dots. Alright. Oh, oh, excuse me, oh, excuse me. Pocket watch. Might I take a look at it? Okay. Hey, man. What are you doing over in this room? Oh, I just thought I'd come check up on the two of you. Is there a problem? Well, not a problem, but... That's a lie. I wanted to get rid of Ace. I sent him to the wheelhouse at the beginning for a reason. 
I wanted to talk to Clover alone. There's something I want to ask her. And I don't want anyone to overhear us. I'm pretty sure Clover won't talk if there's anyone else around. I'm a little desperate to send him back, quick. He has to leave. Oh, I see, of course. I apologize for the intrusion. Well, best of luck. <sighs> what was that about? Why are you looking at me like that? Oh, uh, no, 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 it's not like that. What's it like, then? I just wanted to hear the rest of that story. I didn't get a chance to ask you about it until now. What story? About the experiment, remember? The one you started to tell me in the operating room? You said something about an experiment that happened here nine years ago. Right. I'm sorry, but I don't want to talk about that right now. I'm just not in the mood, okay? Uh... You understand, right? I'm just... I keep thinking about my brother. I... I can't stop. I mean, who would do something like that? To my brother? <sighs> I can't forgive them. I'm not gonna let them get away with it. They're gonna pay for it. I promise. So... So... Junpei, who do you think did it? Well, if what Seven said was right, then there would have to be at least two of them. You need at least three people to open the numbered doors, and if you subtract Snake, that means there were at least two other people. You're right. So, what does that mean? Well, if we just look at the bracelet numbers, we should be able to figure it out. Who could have opened door three with Snake? Well, really, who and who, or who, who, and who? You mean it could have been four people? Well, technically, it's possible. Um, I don't know. That doesn't seem very likely. Why? Um, I'll tell you later. Why don't we just assume it was only two other people for now? But you know... Okay, uh, got it. Let's do that then. Then who do you think it could be? You know what I'm just thinking? You know what I'm thinking? When we had four different places to look for Snake, who did we run into in those four places? Who did we run into? We ran to Clover, she yelled at us to go away. We ran into, um, we ran into Lotus when she tried to talk, talk us into teaming up with her to leave the others behind like an asshole. Um, we ran into Santa, who was looking at the um, the reds, and we ran into Ace in the hallway. The only other two that we didn't run into were Seven and June. Well, no, June was with us. So the only one that we didn't really run into was Seven. Bracelet numbers added to two would give a digital root of three. Wow, we got all of the things. Okay, so let's see. Ace and Santa, that's four. Plus it is six. That's not gonna work. Ace and June, that's seven. Plus him is nine. So it couldn't have been Ace and June. Uh, seven, eight, ten. That would have been one. That's not gonna work. Uh, Lotus is eight. Plus Ace is nine. 11, 1 plus 1 is 2, that wouldn't work. Uh, Santa is 3, June is 6, so that's 9, plus Snake is 11, 2 is that order. Uh, 7, 10, so 7 and Santa would be 10, plus Snake would be 12, 2 plus 1 is 3, it could be Santa and 7. Let's look at the other possibilities and see if they're the only one. Shay! 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 Are you guys seeing what Shay is saying in the comments? What if Jude's six bracelet was actually upside down and it's actually a nine? 
Well, no. No, 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 no. Well, here's the... All right, so here's what we would need to do to test that theory. We would have to look at all of the other doors she's walked into and see if a nine would work with those digital roots. You know what I mean? We would have to make sure that a nine would work as well as a six. Otherwise, that can't be possible. So we would have to go back and do a, and do the math. I don't, well, if you're gonna say what if it acted as a number that it's not displaying, then you could say that of anybody. Then you're opening up the possibility of being zero to everyone with a bracelet. But anyway, it could be solved in seven. So eight, nine, 10, 11, 13, this one is four, no. Six and seven, that's 13, 15, no. Six, uh, 15, 17, so eight, no. Seven. And Lotus, um, seven. Yeah, no, it's Santa and Seven are the only ones that could do it. Would it be Santa and Seven? The digital root for Snake, Santa, and Seven is three. Wait, hold on. Are Santa and Seven the killers? They're the only two possibilities, but if you add a third person in there, then you're going... What's wrong? Oh my god, Shay, I think you're going a little off the rails, honey. I think you're getting well, a little off the rails. About it. <laughs> That's what I thought. Santa and Seven. I mean, Seven was a little suspicious to me. Santa, we haven't really thought if of it suspicious. was two people, then that's the only combination that works. Correct. Hey, wait a minute there. Don't you think it's a little too early to be jumping to conclusions? Well, all I said is that those two would have been able to open door three with your brother. There might be other possibilities. Well, what other possibilities? Uh, um... Are you saying you think that it was three or four people? That's I really possible. don't think that's likely. Why not? Can I borrow your pen and paper? Yeah, here. Yeah, map it out for us, kid. What's this? These are the combinations for three or four people. These right. eight combinations are the only possible Four ones. ones. Okay. Oh, I see. Junpei? Yeah? I... I can trust you, right? Of course. Then you can... Why would you need to ask that? Because she wants to take away the possibilities that include five, you jackass. Really? Yeah. So then I should get rid of B, D, G, and H, right? Of course. Just cross them out. And you should take off yours, too. The ones with four. So, what does that leave? A and E. Both of them have Ace and Santa in them. Wait, it can't be A. Why? Because June's in that one. That is the worst rationale! There's no way in hell she'd do something like that. You don't know that. Are you sure? I bet my life on it. Okay then, I can cross off A too, right? Yeah. Well, what have we got left? E. Do you know what this means? Everyone besides me, you, and June would be working together. Do you think that's likely? Okay, so here's an interesting, here's an interesting thought about this possibility. June and June and Junpei know each other. Snake and Clover are brother and sister. They're the only pairs of people that know each other previously. Coincidence? Hmm. I don't know. If there were four people working together, they wouldn't be very cautious. I don't think they'd try that hard to hide what they were doing if they outnumbered us, right? Well, you do have a point. And besides, if Ace and Seven are working together, they could have easily gotten rid of me when I went to the shower room with them. But they didn't. They didn't even try anything. 
If they were killers, why wouldn't they? Oh, I see. Anyway, I understand now. <laughs> Jesus. It Go seems ahead. pretty unlikely that it was as many as three or four people. Yeah. Then that means there's a good chance it was Santa and Seven. That's how it looks. But why would they do it? Their motive. Have I interrupted something? Uh. Oh, no, 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 no. We're just accusing you of murdering. Uh, just didn't go in the other room. What is it? There was something I wanted to speak with you about, Junpei. Could you come with me for a moment? Go ahead. Okay. She gonna die. What did you want to talk about? There was something I wanted to check. Check? Yeah? What's that? If you'll excuse me. Hey! What, what the hell are you doing? I'm just checking. No, no, no! Stop! Uh, uh, just, do I have to call police? Is this a bad touch? Just as I thought. What exactly are these pieces of paper hiding in your pocket? Oh! <laughs> well... <sighs> you switched them, didn't you, when well, we voted? You know, that's another possibility. It could be Clover. Um... <sighs> well, I can't say that I care. Or... Or... Snake could have faked his death and Clover and Snake could be zero. I managed to get through the numbered door I wanted, Crazy despite your mischief. Team. Then, why did you... Oh, simple curiosity. I hope you won't think ill of me for it. Uh... <sighs> Damn. Okay, uh, can I go back into the other room? Because I was busy looking... Oh, and I never actually got to look at this. Pocket watch. She doesn't even say much. She just keeps it up for My dress. Have a look. Nothing. Okay, you won't even let me. Yes, I'm gonna put my desk block for this because you couldn't see there before I stopped the music. Letters? You ever write letters? No. Something written on it. Ship's law. Oh, okay. Oh, we leave C4 New Jersey across the sea. To leave port, we head south and west. We turn. Oh God! We're gonna have to figure out what point on that map they started from and which ones they went to next. Oh God! Someone kill me! All right. Oh, this is gonna be this is gonna be one of those days. I mean, we're not gonna finish this puzzle tonight, probably, but it's gonna be it's gonna be one of those days. All right. So let's write this down. We learned this after leaving port, we headed south, then west. Turn southwest, steer around the continent. Then we went northwest. We port. Change our direction to east. Then due north. Soon we will dock in the United Kingdom. So they're going to end in the UK. So if we find which point is the United Kingdom, we can backtrack that and find where they started. Mm. Mm. 
Alright, so. This is America. This is the, this is the big one. So this is, wait, is this the United Kingdom? Or is this the United Kingdom? I'm terrible. This is the United Kingdom. Okay. So, the last one was north, so we want to go south. Then it said east, so we want to go west, which is here. Um, then it said northwest, so we want to go southeast, which is here. Okay, this is making sense so far. Uh, then we turned southwest, so we turned north. Northeast. Northeast is this way. Okay. And then west, which is east. And then south, which is north. So we, so we started from here. So we started from here, which is Japan. We started in Japan. I'm pretty sure that's what that... That is Japan. Alright, that's probably something to know. Alright. Oh. Stack of natural charts. I think this isn't that. No, oh, nautical chart, I'm sorry. There's a line on it that the ship is supposed to take. Probably ports like for a boat to stop. It looks like the lines connect the dots. Nothing left in the drawer. Oh, that's all you're gonna. Okay, can we stop talking about the, the fact that she won't talk to me? Alright, so that's. Alright, let's go back to the other room. Let's see what we got here. We got so many drawers, but nothing inside of them. Steering wheel might be more appropriate term. Compass, it appears to be broken. The glass covering has been smashed to pieces. Is anything in the drawers? Nope. There's another room on the other side of the window. This looks familiar. I saw something that's the same shape as this hole. I know it. Oh, the pocket watch. This is some sort of box. Got a few shapes of rotation on it. It's like the pocket watch. Watch first. Okay. So that's the exit to the room. Some kind of display. It looks like an electronic scoreboard. Is that what it a rival board like an airport. Right, and that's the other room. Another door over here. I assume it's not pertinent though. Not to move. The ship is stopped. What do we use this here again? He's like the dad of the group, he's making dad jokes. <laughs> Shay, I can tell you're enjoying yourself. Yes. 
Okay. So let's try this in order. Went south. South and then west. Okay, then southwest. Oh, shit. Yeah, because, yes, I know. I know. It's just my timing is apparently off. Okay. Anyway. South. Alright, I got this. And then west. If I stop after that marker, it'll look like to stop on the next one. Okay. And then southwest. Okay. Then around the continent and went northwest. Okay. Uh, then changed to east. Uh, then due north. Oh, I did it! Woo! The handle came off. Stooping so low, are you zero? There's the handle. up above it. Oh, this lit up! Something on the wall looks kind of like an arrival board. There's only stuff that's good on the left side. seconds and 25 minutes past 7 o'clock. Alright, so that would be 7, 25, 47.
idea how fast this stuff. Right. Oh, the pocket watch. Yeah, if we set the pocket watch at that time. Yes, excuse me, Jupe. You just took my pocket watch. What the hell are you doing? Just setting it to time. We already put the pocket watch at the door. Pretty much everything at this point that I can think of, unless I'm really missing something. Right, that was done. Nothing. It's broken. Nothing in the drawers. I won't move. There's nothing in those drawers. I gotta be missing something, probably from the other room. red things are. They look like pens. What do you think they're for? I know what they're for. I wonder I know what they're for. I do. They do. matches up to the pins or something. What do you know? Looks like... Alright, so... Correct. Now you change the file. Oh, no. Nautical tape. Ah, here we go. Full half. Time of 10 seconds past 3 o'clock. 
Yes. Now we can change this back. Mysterious. It's Pop far too Pop. narrow to be called one. What could it be? We'll have to find out next time because I'm a mean face. <laughs> also, it's time. <laughs> it is time to end the stream. I'm exhausted. And we've done a lot of puzzle solving. Let's return to the title screen for the moment. Um, so, we will finish this this weekend. No, absolutely. Shay, please, you crushed it. You were MVP. You were MVP. What? What do you, what do you mean? Dang it. We've been streaming for over three hours. Listen, I... Uh, yeah, we were gonna... We're, you're gonna be suspicious. Should be this Sunday. Because Saturday will be a sword tour day. Sunday. We're, we may wind up finishing this game. I don't know how long it takes. I don't know. We'll see. We'll figure it out. Shay, you were amazing tonight. High fives. Fantastic. Thank you guys so much for watching. Please like, comment, subscribe, thumbs up, high five, all that good stuff. Come to the Twitch stream. Jo follow us on Twitch and join us for a live stream sometime. If you want to uh, support the stream, we have l donation links below the Twitch stream. You can also tip us with bits. You can also now subscribe to us, which is so exciting. I'm working on some emoticons and shut up and some um, and some other um, potential perks for people that subscribe. If there's any perks you'd be interested in, please let me know. Um, uh, we also have a Facebook page. We have a public Discord. Uh, we have a Steam group. If you're watching this on YouTube, all those links should be in the description below. Thank you guys so, so much for watching, and I will talk to you soon. Bye!